Hey, what's up, you guys? We are at DCA for Disney's Food and Wine Festival. Yes. Obviously, I'm here with Francis and Erica. Hey. And uh, are you guys ready to eat? Yes. yes. Let's do it. So first things first, with the Sip and Savor this year, I think they're about $59, although if you're a Magic Key holder, uh, I paid $54, and you get eight tabs, which comes out to about $6.75 for, per tab. So if you're gonna use the tabs, you wanna get something more than $6.75. And they brought the booklets back this year. Um, when you get a Sip and Savor pass, you can actually look at everything. I think last year they only had them online, so booklets are back. All right, our first booth, we stopped at Garlic Kiss and we got the bacon carbonara mac and cheese. Uh, obviously, there's garlic in it. Um, they had this before. We've but, had this uh, before. I think they've had this before, but it looks better than normal. Oh, Francis is just digging in. He's going in. Am I? Well, I mean, I'm going to tell we're them eating. what else we got. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we also got the garlic uh, top sirloin. Uh, I think it has garlic mashed potatoes. And then the sirloin on top. But I mean, Francis is going for this, so. All right, here shall we? Go. we? Into it, into it. I got the strong. Garlic mm. strong? Yeah. The bacon balances it really well. I would rate it like nope. 8.75 out of 10. You know, I think the bacon is actually the strongest part. Really? Because the bacon has like a really heavy, smoky flavor. They kind of complement each other well. It's bomb. I can't have it. I can't eat bacon. <laughs> Time for our garlic sirloin, Francis. Shall I? I Ooh. think it's normal top sirloin, but then the mashed potatoes are like hella garlic. It's it so divine. Yeah, I think there's chimichurri in there too. Here we go. Oh. Oh. I feel like a new person. This is so good. I think I'm gonna have to give this like a 12 out of 10. Oh, oh we got it's a new the winner. The potatoes, the flavor. Oh. I'm gonna get some of the chimichurri, some of the potatoes. Yeah. Oh, that's bomb. Especially for the portion too. Like, right? That's oh. a good sized portion. I still got more meat in here. I think it's the chimichurri sauce that I actually like. I love it. The chimichurri sauce hits. I wish you could have some. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna try the mashed potatoes. I'm gonna try the chimichurri sauce. I'm getting into the potatoes. <laughs> oh my god. Right. It's the chimichurri. Right. I'm gagged. It's so good. Oh my god, that's so good. Wow. So stop one is already a really good success as that might be one of the best things we've had at Food & Wine ever. ever in all the years. <laughs> and it wasn't even the steak, it was the chimichurri sauce, the sauce on the potatoes. The sauce and potatoes. 10 out of 10. So, uh, I don't know how we're gonna top this, but here we go. And we made it to our next booth, the Golden Dreams, where we got the beet uh, flatbread with goat cheese and then the highly controversial Elote ice cream. Wasn't this good? Ah! Was this, this hasn't good? this hasn't it's... been this is the first year. Oh, it, it was yeah. guacamole last year. That one was good. You no, it wasn't. It, it wasn't? No. <laughs> See, I remember the guacamole being terrible. They used to have just an avocado one with nothing on it that was plain, which was really good. But the guacamole one, no. So I don't know about this corn ice cream. We'll see. Erica's gonna go for this first. I'm nervous about it. There you go, mama. <laughs> We're gonna see how it goes. I'm going in with a spoon. There's also, is that tahini or like chili powder? There, so yeah, there's yeah. like tahini, there's crema. I think it's a Parmesan crema, which oh, is like on ice weird. cream? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taking the thoughts in. You look like you're in pain. It's a lot. It's actually, it's actually not terrible. Okay. The moment of truth. Go for it. Go for it. Like All right. Plate. Cheers. Like Cheers. It's a lot. You got exactly. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. I don't think I want it again. No. Okay. I think I'm gonna spit it out. No. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's a spit. We're doing I'm a. Do it. We're doing a spit take. Okay. So there's your review. So much 
say it. <laughs> Never again. I told you. It's not that it's bad. No. That's a no. That's a no. Thankfully, we also have this beet flatbread, so hopefully the Golden Dreams booth isn't all that bad. Redemption. Re let's see. We cut this into threes because we're cute. Um, but I don't see how you can mess up goat cheese beet pesto on There's flatbread. No. Yeah, on bread. Yeah, so, yeah, that's amazing. Go for it. I feel like good. Go for it. Should we go at the same let's time? Let's go. Okay. Uh, right. Cheers. 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 Mazel tov. <laughs> It's not like great. I'm glad it's better than the ice cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd get this again either though. I would give it like a six and a half out of ten. Same. Cheers. Yeah. It's flavorful, but again, it's only like four ingredients. Bread, beet, goat cheese, pesto. So it's simple. But it's not bad. Alright. I think we are done with this one. Put it where it belongs. Goodbye. Thank you. Next. Stopping by the Delish booth because they have a apricot tequila drink. It's apricot like a apricot tequila colada. Oh. Mm. And me and Erica are we love tequila, tequila people. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. Oh, it's, this a is so good. it's a done and done. Get in there. Skirt. Oh, <laughs> oh that right. is. So, I feel like I'm on season three of White Lotus. Right. Mine is a dead. <laughs> oh. Right. It is colada right. ink. It's so good. It's so good. It's um. It's, it's thick. Yeah. It's it has like the, the yeah. colada part. The 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 coconut, coconut cream. Mm -hmm. The coconut okay. cream is like. A, yeah, that is a very like island summer mm -hmm. vibe drink. Summer in my mouth. Perfect for spring break. Honestly. Absolutely. Now it is Erica's time to shine because at the avocado booth, basically all their items are impossible, which means they it's are all vegetarian. Which vegan, I think. I think it's vegan all and vegetarian. There you go. Um, and this is an El Pastor taco. And then what was this? Brisket mac and cheese? No, it's like a nacho mac and cheese. Nacho mac and cheese, but with plant-based meat. Yeah. So, there you go. For all you vegetarians out there. Let's go, let's go. Gonna go in. Get some avocado. I'm okay with the meat. It could be a little more flavorful. It could use a little kick, a little spice with like really like some salsa. My biggest complaint though is that this is selfish, but it is vegan. I want cheese. I, this is not cheese. It's like a plant based cheese substitute. Great for vegans, not for me. <laughs> That's why. Mm -hmm. That's why I was like, That's the cheese is. is okay. That's what it is. Here comes the choo choo train. Thoughts? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I would prefer real meat. Now, the real one is the al pastor taco because that's like all supposed to be meat yeah. and it's plant-based meat so yeah. also no cheese also no <laughs> cheese um okay here's the gag is that i i wasn't a huge fan of al pastor when i ate meat oh so let's find out let's, let's see. see oh i let's loved see. al pastor I actually like this one. Yeah? I like it. Yeah, it's tasty. It's got the apple pastor flavor down. Delicious. When I was pescatarian, alpha star, like fake alpha star was my favorite. Mmm. Mm. Oh, this is really good. Does it taste like real meat? No. The, no, but the meat texture is there, so it almost yeah. feels like it is. And then what is that, pineapple? The flavor is good. Yeah, it's pineapple. Yeah, it's pineapple good. really sets the tone. So, I'm gonna give this an 8 out of 10. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? It's good. The flavor is there. Yeah. If you gave me this, it didn't tell me anything, I don't think I would notice. Thoughts so far? Oh, Pretty so good. We've I only had out. we've only had one really bad item. The elote ice cream. Everything else, 
So far, so good. So far, so good. We stopped by the Peppers Caliente booth. You guys know how I deal with spice. But they have a Paloma. Do you want to hold this? Yes. <laughs> they have this uh, pineapple Paloma with like tahini and like jalapeno, I guess. Something, I heard, yeah. something spicy is in it. Um, Smells like jalapeno. So let's see how we handle this. <laughs> Ooh, it's got bite. Ooh. It's got a little kick. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see. Let's see what all this is about. It, oh. It hits you here. There's a strong, there's a strong pepper. It's good though. I think it's jalapeno. That is a, delicious. It's so good. <laughs> what kick? It's hot though. Okay. Maybe it's at Ooh. the bottom. You need to take from the straw. Yeah, it's at the straw. Alright, alright. Uh -huh, uh huh. There it is. So, we... Watch your words, kids. Watch your words. She, she's spicy. She's spicy, but she's good. Caliente. And it comes with a little pineapple on it. Don't drink it with a straw. <laughs> yeah, maybe we gotta mix it a little bit. All right. So now we made it over to Sonoma Terrace. Just so you guys know, there's a lot of other places you can use your sip and saver passes other than the booths, like. Sonoma Terrace takes some, Paradise Garden Grill takes some, Smoke Jumpers takes some. There's a lot of items you can get at some of the normal restaurants other than the booths. And Sonoma Terrace has this Black Forest ham grilled cheese with uh, smoked mozzarella and then like a sun-dried tomato like soup. It's like a mini Jolly Holiday but with ham. Try this. Get some of this sun-dried goodness inside. It's like an elevated Jolly Holiday because it has ham and like a fig pear jam. I don't know if it's pear. Some some jam inside. But yeah. If you want a Jolly Holiday on this side with meat, here it is. Very comfy. Odds jam. She cute. Yeah, I give it a 7 out of 10. I get it again. I think our final item tonight, which is a weird item, but we're getting it's coffee. It's, it's blueberry pancake. We're cold staying brew. here till 1 a.m., so it's not weird. We, oh, oh, you're dripping. My bad. That was all my over my excited. Hi. Um, I always do. Anyway, yes, this is blueberry pancake cold brew. Cheers. Cheers. It's a little there's holiday. An, there's an interesting flavor there. It tastes mapley more than blueberry. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's at the, the top. Mister. Oh, the blueberries oh, the at the top. Yeah, uh, the we got to stir. good on top. Yeah, I like that. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. There it is. We found it. Okay, so I'll pancake give it a... on the bottom, blueberry on top. So uh, stir it up when you get it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be up all night. No, we're not. <laughs> up. Yes, you oh, will. Night. That is it. Thank you guys for joining us around food and wine this year. We ate things. We drank things. Spit out things. Mm -hmm. We spit out things. <laughs> But uh, let us know what you guys want to try. If you tried other things we didn't try, let us know what we should try next time. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Erica. Thanks, Francis, for joining me. Oh, thanks for having us, Patrick. Period. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys real soon. Bye. Bye.